In my comment sections on a lot of my AC fixing videos, people are asking me how do I check if my blower motor in my furnace is bad or not. So for example, the unit outside will turn on, the compressor and the fan, everything seems to be working out there, but you come downstairs and the blower motor is not turning on. So is it simply not getting power or is the blower motor just burnt out? Chances are if you've been trying to run it for 5-10 minutes, if you take your furnace doors off and if you carefully reach in where the blower motor is, in fact you might want to turn the power switch off and if you have a voltage pen, confirm to make sure you don't have any power anywhere so you don't accidentally get shocked. As you can see I have power here, see that with my voltage pen? So you want to turn that off and I can check again. I have no power anywhere now. So now that I've verified there's no power, just take your furnace doors off. If you reach in on the motor side, which is typically on the right side, and just grab the motor, a lot of times if it's been trying to start, the motor will be super hot. Also, if you go on the left side and feel the squirrel cage, a lot of times it'll not spin very freely. It'll feel kind of sluggish and seized up. Just try to spin that by hand. Be careful though, because the fins can be sharp. Those are pretty much obvious giveaways that your motor is bad if that motor is super hot. Another possibility though is that your capacitor is actually weak or completely dead. And your capacitor is typically going to be on the motor housing somewhere. Mine for example is right here. It's going to be that silver cylinder. So what you want to do is take off the capacitor, disconnect the wires from it, and using your meter on the microfarad selection right here, you want to check the capacitor and see if the rating is matching up the label on it. Now I won't go into how to check the capacitor in this video, but I do have a whole other video that talks all about the capacitor, how to check it and replace it in an AC condenser unit, but it would be the same thing here too. So I won't get into that now, but if you want, just check out the other video to know more about the capacitor part. So if your capacitor is good and your motor is hot, then almost guaranteed that you need a new motor. But we don't want to guess, so to know for sure, what you want to do is turn that power back on. We're going to do this test with the power on. Turn the power back on, take off your furnace doors, make sure your door switch is taped, otherwise you won't have power anywhere. When you're taping it, or putting a screw in it, or jamming it, or whatever, make sure you don't touch any connectors in the back, because it is 120 volts and you will get shocked and possibly something worse. And then you want to locate your fan wires, the wires coming from your fan motor. In my case, it's the blue, black, red, and white, and see where they go into on the control board. In my case, black goes to cooling right there. I have nothing on park, no spare wires or no spare fan speeds. Red is heat low stage, and blue is heat high stage. So depending on if you're in the furnace season or AC season, Right now we're in the AC season, you will pull that wire off. So in my case, it'll be the black wire. I'll pull that wire off like that. And also I will find where my common is coming from the motor. And usually it'll say circ or circulator. And I will pull that off as well. After you have those two wires pulled off, with your thermostat calling for cooling, your outside unit running, the fan should be turning on, so what you want to do is just verify that it's getting power. So you'll put one lead on the cool spade, where you pulled the cooling speed wire off of. One of your leads will go on that, and the other one will go on the common, or the circulator common, the other wire that you pulled off. You want to have that set to voltage, and when you check that, if your motor is getting power, it'll have 120 volts. If you're not getting voltage, that means actually your control board is simply not sending power to the blower motor and it's probably the board that's bad and not the motor itself. But if the board is sending 120 volts to the blower motor, that means the blower motor is bad if it's not turning on. And then don't forget to plug the wires back in. Now if you don't have a meter and you can't check if your blower motor is getting voltage or not, one way you could try testing it is to hotwire it directly. So for example, you turn your power switch off, you don't want to have any power, confirm with the voltage pen or meter that you don't have any voltage anywhere, and I don't. And then what you want to do is find your line terminal where the power comes into the control board. 
you want to pull that wire off. So in my case, it'll be this one right here. It'll usually be coming from the door switch. Pull that wire off. And then if you're in the furnace season, you want to pull off your heat wire. If you're into AC season, which we are right now, you want to pull off your cooling wire, which is this one. Basically, all you're going to do is bypass the control board and send power to the blower motor directly. So this is line voltage coming in from the junction box or the power switch. All you got to do is wire nut. If you want, you can snip these two wires off and then wire nut them together. That'll be sending power directly to the blower motor. So you would snip them both, put the wire nut on, well strip them and then put the wire nut on to tie it straight into power. If your blower motor comes on, that means you know your control board is bad. It's just not sending power to the motor. If the blower motor does not come on while it's bypassed like that, that means your blower motor is bad and it needs to be replaced. And the way I usually do it in the field when I do this test, or sometimes if I need to order a customer a control board and just to get them by until I can get the new board in, I usually use a spade like that, a splitter. So I will put the door switch on one end. I'll put the cooling speed from the fan on the other end like that. And then I would just plug this right back into the line voltage terminal right here. And that will be sending power to my motor directly from the power switch instead of through the control board. Well guys, and that is how you check if your blower motor is bad or if it's just the control board not sending power to it. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and we'll see you next time.